Hey everybody, my name's Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to Del Mar. Let's check out this one. But again, before we do, right here's my link for resales. Up top is my link for new construction. So you can type them in or you can scan those QR codes with your mobile phone. They're completely free to use. Let's check out this one. Oh, before we do, if you haven't seen, I am doing a once a week $25 Amazon gift card. You have to like, you have to comment, you have to be subscribed. I'm only going to be doing it on one video a week and then I will be posting the winner the next week. So make sure to stay tuned. Right here, we are actually over in the southwest. I'm going to spin and put a map up where we are. Now, if you are thinking about buying new, you are considering buying new, make sure to call me because if you work directly with the builder, you are now, if you are thinking about buying new, you are considering buying new, you want to buy new, call me first. Call me before you call the builder, before you email them, before you go check out the models in person because I need to either call on your behalf or go with you. If not, you're going to work directly with the sales associates and they don't represent you. They actually represent the builder. All they're there to do is facilitate the transaction. So if you want a if you want representation, give me a call. All my info is down below and in the pinned comment. And Fun fact, as the buyer, you don't pay the realtor commission, the builder does. So again, one more uh, reason why to call me. So I'm gonna spin and show you where we are. We are in Del Mar, we are in Southwest Las Vegas. Right there is the South Point Casino, if you know where that is. The 15 is right on this side of it, probably a mile and a half, two miles away. Right over there is the Las Vegas Strip. So over in the Southwest today, this one is a Pulte home. This is the Delano. This one we're gonna be looking at today is 3,158 square feet, four to five bed, two and a half to four and a half bath, two car garage. This starts at 569,880. HOA is $40 a month. Lots are five to 30 grand. They do have one for sale at 693 and change, I believe. So these models are gonna be even more expensive because they put more options into them, more upgrades. So. That's about where they're gonna be priced out at. Again, if you have any questions, give me a call. All my info is down below. If you could do me a huge favor and hit the like button, it really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Also, make sure to subscribe because again, once a week I am giving away a $25 gift card. Also, I'm thinking about doing a big giveaway for 10,000 subscribers. We're getting there. So I'm thinking either one iPad Air or two regular iPads. Let me know what you think. Should I do one or two? Leave a comment down below. Right here we have our coat closet. Now lots of upgrades in here. Again, if that one's at 690, this is probably north of 750, this model. And it will go for even more when they do sell it. We have our toilet. We have our pedestal sink. It's a nice size, but... <laughs> I always joke about our Vegas windows because that's the street right there. So it's definitely going to be a peekaboo. You're going to want some sort of window treatment on that one, unless you uh, like to give free shows. So lots of options, lots of upgrades. Let's go ahead before we check out downstairs. Let's go ahead and go upstairs. Railing is for sure an upgrade. The flooring is 100% an upgrade. And I'll point out many, many more as I see them. So again, if you have questions on what upgrades you should choose, I can help guide you. There's definitely some that are always probably more beneficial to choose. I always tell my buyers pick structural options like the oversized sliders. You can always change paint color. You can always change flooring. So definitely those structural ones are usually more beneficial. Whoa, this is huge. So this is my first time walking through it. They do have a similar model throughout the valley, but this one's a little bit different. They definitely changed it up. But wow, look at all this area. Normally it will be a pony wall right there, so it'll feel a little bit more closed off. But look at the loft. So I'm guessing, no, this is not gonna be available for a bedroom. I wanted to see if this was uh, able to go to four, uh, six bedroom, it cannot. So this will be a loft only because downstairs is where they have that extra bedroom. Unless there's only three up here. So huge loft. Again, the options that they have in here, They've added additional lighting. Normally you won't get all of these can lights, but really nice so far. Let's see if this is an optional bedroom. So we'll have to go through it. I need to see how many bedrooms are up here. 
One thing that you can option, I know for sure, is this can become a bathroom. This is how it will normally come. If you want, you can add an extra bathroom up here. It will be a shower only bathroom though. Just keep that in mind, unless you want the storage. I think it's like uh, 75 eight, or eight grand for that. Right here, we have our linen closet. So let's see, one, two, three, four. This could, the loft could be a bedroom. Right here, we have our first bedroom and it's huge. I wish they didn't put the bed quite in the corner because it could give you a better idea of how big this room is, but it's large. Full size bed, big, nice, cool chest actually. Again, they added the can lighting in here. Normally you will just get the pre-wire cap, but it's a big, big room. I mean, you could put another bed in here. There's a lot of room for activities. We have our dresser. If we come all the way over here and spin around, I'll show you the closet. Nice big two-door slider. If you need more hanging space, move the bar up, add a second one, and you can double your hanging space. So bedroom number two is the master. I love these huge windows they do. Again, normally you're just gonna get that pre-wire cap. They added the can lighting, and this room is big. King size bed, we even have a little lounge retreat area. We have two nightstands. It's probably at least seven feet right here. It almost needs like a coffee table or something. It's big, <laughs> a lot of room in this room. We spin around. Again, another option that they did that most people probably won't is they did the speakers. Again, that's why these homes get so expensive as the models. They always put way, way more in than most people usually choose. Right here we have our nice, cool bathroom. <coughs> Excuse me. This almost looks, I think it's a slight upgrade compared to the standard. We have our undermounted sink. We have our medicine cabinet. We have a huge sheet of glass. Slight upgrade on the cabinets. Now, if you want, you can lose the linen closet and get a full length shower. Check out the other videos I did. Again, I am doing a giveaway on one of them, so make sure to watch it and go like, subscribe, and comment on that video if you wanna win that $25 gift card. We have a bench. I think this is gonna be a slight upgrade. Usually what they do is they do composite uh, fiberglass in the showers. They even have our little soap shelf. You could do even a second shower head if you so choose with the wand. If you get the bigger one, you can even do the shower head up in the ceiling, the rain shower head. They do have those options available. Right here, we have our closet. Oh my goodness gracious. This is huge. I like the mirror. But wow, this is a big closet. I was not expecting this compared to seeing the other ones because they do have nice size closets not this big so huge huge closet if you want they can even do the closet for you um, I believe they even have California closets come out here we have our toilet area right here the one thing I will say it's gonna be close I wish the builders would have the doors go out not in because they have to like stand way way over there there's so much room here that they could have had it come out I know I'm nitpicking it but it's just those little things when there's that much space I always like to see when the doors open out so you don't get trapped in there. Coming on down into our next bedroom. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, the loft can be. Before we see the, um, the bathroom, right here we have our bedroom and it's nice. This one's really big. Full size bed, nightstand, nightstand. You could easily get a desk in here. I mean, you can get another bed in here. Again, upgraded lighting. You can even see there's a cool little fluffy chair. We have our dresser. This room's big. This is very large. I'm gonna come over here just so you can see everything without falling over on the little fluffy chair. What a fun room. Again, two door closet. Like I said before, if you want to increase the hanging space, you can literally double it. Right here, we have our bathroom. That will come with the place. This is the one you'll get. I'll point out a couple different options as well. Upgraded flooring, upgraded cabinets. Again, I think this stone is a slight upgrade. I don't know. They keep changing things and every community is a little different. Same undermounted sink. We have our medicine cabinet, big sheet of glass, our toilet, and then our fiberglass composite tub. Again, normally it will be a fiberglass composite shroud. Slight upgrade here. 
even with the soap shelf, and there's our shower head. I do like this one. Coming on out, let's go ahead and head on downstairs. Now again, if you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to reach out, whether it's this home, another new home, a resale, anything in between. Please give me a call. Again, all my info is down below. Coming on down, I do love this flooring. Normally you're gonna have carpet or carpet everywhere minus the wet areas, which are kitchen, laundry, entry, and bathrooms. So keep that in mind. This flooring, hmm, they have at least at least $25,000, $30,000 in flooring in here. I, yeah, probably even maybe a little bit more. Right here we have our storage area. And it goes all the way, does it go around even? Nope, but all the way back under there. And then huge opening. It's like a great room. I love this. That slider is a slight upgrade. You'll get a slider, but it won't be that big. It looks like the 12 foot slider. I believe eight foot is the standard. Now, before we talk about all this, I wanna talk about this room because this is one of the optional downstairs bedrooms. Normally, this wall won't be here. It's gonna kind of cut in and I'll show you why because they use that space as the closet. But I've seen people do like little kids nooks in there or I've even seen uh, on one of the models they put like a desk back there for a little reading area. But this is the optional upgrade. This is the bedroom. Again, I even did it with the can lights down here. But normally this wall will be closed off. The closet won't exist. And this whole space you'll be able to enter in through right here. So you have nice little nook area. So again, when you pick this, you can do closet. There's a couple different options. You can do this as well. You don't have to do it with the bathroom. I believe you can do it with the, uh, with the bathroom, no bedroom. So we have our office space. Again, a lot of people use this as like the guest bedroom because it turns into like a really nice guest bedroom then. And then it has an ensuite too. So, ah, Here's a good example. That's the standard tub. So we have, it's funny, they keep changing the colors of the cabinets. They were gray in the bathroom, the, the primary, the gray down here, they were white. And the other one, we have our toilet and then tub shower combo. So standard tub shower combo. You have your shower head, you have a couple little shelves for soaps and shampoos, but nice, very nice. Am I, I thought the, ca uh, <laughs> this is so funny. I could have sworn the sinks upstairs, and you could rewind it and even comment. I thought they were undermounted, and this one's overmounted, so I don't know. Interesting. So, big, big open area. Before we talk about the dining, before we talk about the living in the kitchen, right here we have, well, let's hit this first. This is a, it's not actual gas, it's a holographic image. I believe it's like four or $5,000. If this was gas, this would be a five, or a $20,000, $25,000 fireplace. Now, but I'm talking about this because when you buy new, you need to budget for the backyard. It's gonna be dirt everywhere. So again, this is a little bit of a smaller lot, but hmm, maybe $15,000 or so, give or take. It's crazy how expensive the backyards have got. But if you are putting a pool, spa, heater, figure at minimum like 50 grand for the pool. And then you have landscaping on top of it. I've seen a lot of people they're above $80,000 for a backyard with pool before everything, and it, they get up there. So just trust me, the backyards get expensive, so you need to budget for it when you buy new. Really nice open area. These backyards aren't gonna be as crazy because they are a little bit smaller, unless you happen to get one of the larger lots. So again, keep those things in mind. Right here we have our dining area, and you could put even a bigger dining table there. What is that, two, four, six? You could even bring it out farther. It has a lot of space, really cool chandelier. We even have our little server area. But let's get to this kitchen. Ah, I see why. They did it two-tone, so they did white and then they did the gray. We have our four bar stool area overhang. There's even cabinets under here for more storage. There's a lot of storage in this kitchen. So just so you could see everything again, the two-tone, the white and the gray. Let's come on over here. Right here we have our pantry. Decent sized pantry actually. But right here we have our backsplash. That's an optional upgrade. They did the 40 inch uppers. 
This might be the standard appliance package. They keep changing them because it depends on whether or not they can get the appliances, but this looks like the standard one. So fire burner cooked up, we have our microwave and then it does vent outside right there. If we spin around, we have, oh, cool farm apron sink. We have our dishwasher right there, some more drawers. Here's your view from the sink. Coming on around, I do like how big this island is. It's more like a continent at this point. We have a little espresso nook. We have more counter space. We have our stainless steel fridge. There is a lot of cabinet space, a lot of storage in this house. Right here, right here we have our laundry room. Now I'm going to let you know right now, option, option, option. I even believe you can get a sink in here too. So normally you're just gonna have a shelf here and all of this side is just gonna be open. They could do that if you want. Again, different options, different packages available. Again, the flooring is 100% an option. Let's go ahead and spin around just so you can see. Now, oh, they never have the locks on them. Oh, I know why, because this is the, yep. Now, when you come in and design it, this will be the design studio that you come in and pick everything if you can choose. Now, when they go to sell this one, they're gonna rip out that wall or that glass and put the garage door in. This will be a finished normal garage, but just so you can see the garage. I know people always ask me to show the garages. Unfortunately, they always keep them locked. Today, we're lucky, get a little peek at a garage. You're gonna have a loop for your water softener. Our water out here, if you don't know, is very hard. You're gonna get a tankless water heater. Here's all the different materials that they show and put throughout the house, just so you know how they're building the home. But a little tour of the garage, because they always are locked. They use them for storage. Right here, this is our smart panel. So you put your router and mo uh, modem in there and it throws the internet throughout the home. What do you think about this one? Leave a comment down below. If you have any questions whatsoever, again, all my info is in the pinned comment and the description. I would love to hear from you and love to help you out in any way possible. Also, don't forget, I am doing a $25 Amazon gift card once a week. I'm gonna do a giveaway. You have to like that video. You have to comment on that video. You have to be subscribed in order to win. And then the following week, I'll pick you, I'll message you, message me your details, and I will send you a digital $25 gift card. Also, again, I think I'm gonna be doing something big for 10,000 subscribers. I'm thinking either an iPad Air or two regular iPads. Let me know which one you think down below. Hmm, it'll be fun. We're getting there, we're getting close. Again, as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.